the Technical Secretariat for supervising the critical oil and gas sector, as well as the business outfit, will have to take a central role in the developments around commercial production. Role of the National Oil Company is to play the business part on behalf of the country. So we expect the National Oil Company to be like the other oil companies that are licensed, to play with them uh, at the beginning to be a partner in the license and subsequently they can also begin to take licenses on their own. Uh, the Petroleum Authority of Uganda is the regulator of these companies. And so the Petroleum Authority will be monitoring and supervising how these companies are doing their work on the ground. This latest indicator is seen as one among the reasons major international oil firms Talo and Total are yet to obtain the important production licenses from government. The, the production licenses are issued when the understanding of the fields, the planning of how to produce these fields and where the oil is going to go and how it's going to be processed are also quite well understood. So these are some of the things that have been uh, uh, delaying the conclusion of these production licenses. Uganda has proven deposits of crude oil worth 6.5 billion barrels, where production is anticipated to convey over 34 trillion shillings into the economy over the mid-term. In the range of $10 billion. So you have to remember that if you are talking and negotiating about something that is, is that valuable, then the interests of both the country, both and the investors, and the good production of these resources need to be balanced quite well. A refinery plant within the Albertine Graben in southwestern Uganda, as well as a pipeline to export crude, are also expected to generate new investments into the economy. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.